Okay, in this video we're going to do another example of a proof by contradiction, which is a type of indirect proof. Before we do so, let's review the steps for doing a proof by contradiction. The first step is to assume that the negation of your statement is true. So if we want to prove that some statement S is true means we want to suppose that S is false. Now, sometimes we can do this with the universal conditional statement. If S is a universal conditional statement, we take the negative of, of a universal conditional statement. But S doesn't have to be a universal conditional statement. And in this example, it's not. And so I'm not going to write out the steps for converting a universal conditional statement to its negation. Instead, we just know that if we're trying to prove something true, we're going to suppose that it's false. After that, we want to drive a contradiction from that assumption. Show that S being false leads to a contradiction. And then finally, if the negation is cannot be true, the statement must be true so we can conclude that S must be true. Okay. Let's take a look at this example. We want to prove that there is no greatest even integer. Well, first we need to figure out what that means. So greatest even integer, um, a billion is an even integer, and it's a pretty big even integer, but there's always a billion in a two, which is bigger than a billion. Um, there's always two billion, which is even and bigger than a billion. There's always a trillion, which is even and bigger than a billion. There's always going to be a bigger even number. So there's a couple of ways to do this proof. Um, I'm going to start by um, noticing that this is not a universal conditional statement. And this is one of those examples that's difficult to put in the form of a universal conditional statement. For all n is an even integer, there's a bigger even integer. Oh, no, for all n, if n is an even integer, then there's a bigger integer. It's a little unclear how you would write that, but it's not necessary that you put it into that form. So again, look at our steps. Step one is to prove that something is true, a statement is true, we want to suppose that it's false. So let's start like that. First, we're going to do a proof by contradiction. Right, you always want to start by naming what type of proof you're going to do. I'm going to say suppose not. That is, suppose there is a greatest even integer. Let's call that integer n. Okay, so n is our greatest even integer. Now, let's consider a larger even integer. We could use n plus 2. All right, n plus 2 is going to be bigger than n. Um, we could also use 2n. Either one works. 
um, 2n is twice as large as n. So it is greater than n. And 2n is even because n is an integer. And remember, that the definition of an even number is 2 times some integer. So since n is an integer, 2n is certainly even. Um, but we said that n was the greatest even integer. But we found a bigger one. So this is a contradiction. And again, you always want to note the contradiction. So we found a contradiction. That means our supposition, which was right here, is wrong, which means our original statement is right. So therefore, there is no greatest even integer. Okay, so if we want to look at the steps, this was step one, right? We want to suppose it's false. Step two is finding a contradiction. So this part is all step two. And then step three was just concluding that we found a contradiction, so the opposite must be true. So this is step three. Okay, and here it is, again, written up, though I notice there is a small typo. This should be greatest even integer there. Okay, I think everything else works.